is Luna Husarova um, and I am basically a digital literature theoretician. So I deal with digital literature and different forms of how literature and basically poetry can be um, you know, created through new media, um, presented through new media and read or received through media. And I also do the poetry and the practice of this. So basically this is, this is what I do um, as, a, as a theoretician as well as a practitioner and I teach at universities uh, dealing with also digital fiction and digital literature at Masaryk University in Bratislava uh, I have a stable position of American literature and new media creative writing and this half a year I also have a grant at Angewandte Kunst in Vienna so I teach their transmedia projects basically also creative writing through uh, different ways. I'm currently a first year doctoral student at the Charles University in Prague, I'm studying uh, English and American literature basically. I'm interested in contemporary poetry a lot. Uh, I write poetry, I perform poetry, also I write reviews and I work as a poetry editor of a magazine called Psi Vino and another international review that's called Black. And also I organize a poetry festival that's called Prague Micro Festival. Um, Yes, that's it, I guess. Responding to your question is like, why wouldn't we be? So like, wh why not? That's like, that, that's interesting topic. That's something that is up to date. That's something that deals with where we as humans are moving, maybe. Uh, what we already have in ourselves is the, that culture has been basically here for the last hundred years uh, in different forms, in different ways. Um, so that's I think one of the topics uh, that if you think about where we are and where we are going is somehow both political, poetical, uh, media oriented. So this is like a cross um, like a like a cross topic through all these maybe interesting themes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a topic where lots of current concerns meet and if you are an artist or if you are a critical, cultural critic then it makes sense to deal with it because you know it's you are asking what, what does it mean like are we changing as humanity or you know all those like big questions but also it's not just wanting uh, you know to promote something but it's also asking what perhaps the, the people who are promoting it are actually doing as well, so it's a form of critique as well, it's not, uh, mm -hmm. that we will be um, promoting transhumanism only, but we're also interested in what does it do to us, maybe something that we don't want it to do to us. Mm -hmm. We are definitely not there in the sense of saying this is the good thing, we are kind of questioning that concept. And another reason why I was personally interested in the topic is that uh, I have been interested in the topic of gender for some time and basically <laughs> it's clear that uh, transhumanism poses lots of interesting questions in that regard. So, you know, are we going to lose gender at all or what will happen? What, what kind of uh, role will gender have in our lives if we, you know, are heavily, uh, if we have processes and if we interact with technology a lot. So that's, that, that was my, my interest that brought me there. I need to upgrade myself every morning. <laughs> but no, I'm, I wouldn't like to upload myself anywhere, I think. It's, it's more interesting for me to just explore who... I mean, like, the, this is the question, like, where do you draw the line? How, how, how do you know that you're not yourself anymore? Or if you could upload yourself into a technological device, would, would it still be you? So I don't know. I think it's, uh, it's if if we change, it will be more fluid, and I would be interested in that fluid change. But I don't want anything that will happen at once and it will be completely a complete reversal. So no, I would like to opt for staying myself and maybe making small steps and interacting with the environment in small ways and learning from that. Then like. Like, I would upgrade myself definitely. <laughs> Not really kind of upload myself somewhere, because I mean, we are uploading pieces of us already. I mean, we are doing it. But I mean, upgrading, um, 
I, I would upgrade myself. I mean, but the, 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 there, there are ways. Yeah, there are ways in which I would upgrade myself. There are ways, ways in which I wouldn't upgrade myself. Like, uh, like there are already it's resurgent practice that you can kind of put a stick into your um, kind of part of the brain, and it enhances, it enhances your ability to I mean, uh, reach memories that you are not able to do. So. If it will be uh, researched properly, and I wouldn't have a risk that it damages my brain functions, I'll be certainly pro remembering everything that I was doing as a child when I was young, or when I was one. So, I mean, there are ways you can do it, through different ways of uh, kind of not really scientific methods, like more... Different ways, uh, but I mean, I would be interested in enhan in enhancing intelligence, in enhancing some of the abilities that I'm not able to reach right now. <laughs> this is like the senses all over. The academic frustration. Yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah, like, I'm not able to do all the things that I would like to do. I think that I would like to live in parallel worlds. Like, I have to think. I, I all the time think like this life is not enough, <laughs> and the time is not enough, and the space is not enough. So if I would be able to you know, have parallel worlds in which I would be able to connect and live through those lives, if I decide for a different life, I would definitely you know, do it. Time travel, I'd definitely love to. And time travel, or I mean, um, tele, you know, tele, telescopic, tele, whatever, telekinesis. <laughs> if it wouldn't really kind of uh, damage the abilities that I have right now. Basically anything. Um, there are ways, um, there, there's for example the project about I mean, robotic poetry and transhuman poetry that, I mean, there was um, you know, um, like uh, people were asking other people to write transhuman poetry and there would be ex kind of like the whole anthology or collection of it. Uh, so I mean, in the poetry that deals with media and more kind of contemporary ways of, and political things of you know, dealing with the state that we are right now in, the transhumanism is the topic. It's not like I mean, the poetry is out there in the 19th century dealing with romantic ideas of the self. But I mean, I think none of us is really dealing with a very you know, concrete and stable self as the subject of poetry. We both deal with something else that, that is I mean, not us in the poetry. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think one of the one of one of the things that are happening recently is that people start to think about uh, themselves as objects and subjects at the same time, which is a tendency I can see in philosophy. I can I keep hearing things that this is what's happening in philosophy, you know, that I'd be an expert really. But uh, like more in terms of the form perhaps, because I think this is what you might be asking as well. Uh, it's something that Susanna is doing already uh, with intermedia practice. Mm -hmm. So you have all those different technologies that you can use to create your poetry and basically the language must change as well because uh, Technology changes the way we deal with language, and it changes the concept of language. Uh, so, like concepts of code and mm -hmm. and others are coming to fore increasingly. So, this is perhaps in terms of form as well. <laughs> I mean, it's difficult to decide for them, <laughs> but um, it's because we are bringing in the theoretical language, maybe that's what perhaps to some of the some of readers of poetry could be interesting, because this is not something that's happening usually or all the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we are dealing with the topics of uh, biotechnology, like cultural changes, migration, translationality, Little bit all, all those sort of things mm -hmm. will be there somehow. Mm -hmm. So if people are interested in what it is to like in the age that was described as being in transition, then perhaps that's the reason. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be also playing with leaps, so I'll be controlling different uh, words and pieces of the words. So there'll be there'll all be weird or sounds. syllables and sounds all around, and people doing these things. So might not come before all that, but I mean, might be interesting. We also hope it will be interesting. Yeah. Yes. But also for the, for the people who are not that much into poetry, but more into technology, so then they can see um, maybe that poetry or other ways of art aren't out there, 
I mean, not so just like we are also interested in the, the connection between the technological world and the artistic world and how they can influence each other so that it is useful and influential for both of them so they can maybe see some other new forms of how technology can help the arts or connect with the arts or be arts basically. I'd say think, think, I don't know, so think about, like analyze, maybe like dealing, dealing with not only the technical part of it, and maybe think about what is the consequence of the technical part. So what is the philosophical, what is the social, what is the humanitarian idea, uh, I and mean, what does it bring to the society if it doesn't destroy it.